managing swap now before we create swap we should make make sure that we understand these concepts very clearly as all the, the modern hard disk use on the, the concept of zcav zonal cap constant angular velocity first partition is created at the outer edge and so on as swap is continuous in use it should be created as close to the outer edge that is it can be created just after the boot and the root if a swap resides on multiple hard disk then the swap on the hard disk having the higher speed must be called first using the caller value we'll be configuring these things while creating swap on a file server like ftp or http try to create swap near the var as majority of the times io is happening on the var so it will be easier for the hard disk head to move to the swap if it, if it is near to the var thus it reduces the seek time it will gradually definitely reduce your seek time so let's see how to configure a swap partition and how to configure it with the caller values and all those things here i just move on i go to the root i show you here i have got a partition swap on hyphen s so i'm creating a one more partition using the dd command dd slash dev slash zero of is equal to v box i created air try swap two bs is equal to one k count is equal to 500 by this i'm creating a swap file named as try swap 2 under vbox partition of size 500 kb that's great at swap make it as a file system vbox try swap 2 that's great it's successfully done now let's do swap on slash vbox slash try swap 2 that's great if i give here now swap on hyphen a and swap on hyphen s you can see there that the new partition is coming up and the value here is minus two now but i want that the new partition should be the first partition to be used means i want my try swap to file to be used first and when this file get consumed only then the original partition should be used so how can i make it to a higher priority let's see i will just remove it swap off try vbox try swap 2 i just clear off the screen or i'll just do it i'll check it again i've got a one partition now while creating it i can give this command swap on hyphen p and any number say 8 that's it the job is done so i just assigned the priority or the caller value of a to my new swap partition now if i give uh, again a and i give s you can see on uh, the new caller value is coming up so right now my machine will be using the new swap file first and when it is consumed only then the new partition the original partition will be used now how can i make it make it permanent let's do it let's uh, swap off it Ag again as i want to make it permanent i should be going to the fstf file i go to the fstf file and here i make up an entry slash vbox slash try swap to the file system is none and it is a swap here i give software and here i give the priority is equal to say 10 zero zero i save come out i give mount all and will it come now let's see no it's not coming so why not swap off make it an easy thing and swap on all if i give swap s you can see there now the new partition or the new swap partition or the file try swap 2 has been assigned a priority value or the caller value of 10. now as this change is in fs tab this is permanent so this is a very beautiful way to control and manage your swap. Just remember these things. Thank you very much.